Imagine yourself walking through the vibrant and lush tropical Amazon rainforest, surrounded by the sounds of chirping birds and the rustle of leaves. The air is thick with humidity, and the fragrance of exotic flowers fills your senses. As you wander deeper into this enchanting world, a curious sense of adventure tingles at the back of your mind. At one point, however, your journey is abruptly interrupted. You come to a halt because a large, thick log is blocking your way. Fearless, you approach the branch, curious to see if you can simply step over it and continue your exploration. However, just as you try to step over, the unexpected happens. It starts moving. Your heart races as you realize that it's not just a log. It's the largest snake you've ever seen, the formidable green anaconda. The moment hits you with a mix of awe and terror. Are you that lucky one who has come across the heaviest and one of the longest snakes in the world? Certainly seems so. The reptile appears to be at least three times longer than you, a truly astonishing sight, and at least twice as heavy. The sheer size of the snake makes your mind race as you try to recollect everything you know about anacondas. The green anaconda is a member of a family of snakes known as constrictors. They are not venomous, few, but that doesn't make them any less dangerous. On the contrary, constrictors are notorious for their method of hunting. They wrap their powerful bodies around their prey and squeeze until it's too late for the victim. After finishing their grim deed, these giant snakes open their mouths wide, very, very wide, and then swallow their entire meal whole. Anacondas are known for their impressive diet, which includes wild pigs, capybaras, and caimans, reptiles that are similar to crocodiles and can reach lengths of up to eight feet. Some anacondas have even been known to feast on jaguars and deer, which can weigh as much as 100 pounds. It makes you wonder, how do they manage such an impressive feat? The secret lies in the unique structure of their jaws. The anaconda's lower jaw isn't fused. Rather, its parts are held together with stretchy ligaments. The same goes for the upper jaw, which has two independent parts. This anatomical feature allows the anaconda's jaws to move independently of each other, enabling the snake to open its mouth to more than 150 degrees. In humans, this angle is a mere 40 degrees at the most. That flexibility is precisely why the anaconda can maneuver its mouth over something that's significantly larger than its head. Even more unsettling, Anacondas possess four parallel rows of backward-pointing teeth on their upper jaws. These specialized teeth are designed to help the reptiles grasp their prey securely. The lower jaw has two rows of teeth, providing extra grip to ensure that their catch doesn't escape. Anacondas are ambush predators, which explains why you notice the reptile only after nearly tripping over it. They tend to lie in wait, camouflaged within their environment for an unsuspecting animal to wander within their reach. When that moment occurs, they lunge forward with surprising speed, and the rest becomes history, often for the unfortunate prey. Anyway, back to your current predicament. The only thought racing through your mind is whether this giant reptile is going to swallow you whole. You're trying to back away as fast and quietly as possible, but unfortunately, your efforts seem futile. Even though you make no sound, the snake is incredibly sensitive to vibrations, perceiving even the slightest movements you make. In the blink of an eye, the snake lunges at you. To your astonishment, it seems like the reptile's movements are lightning fast. But in reality, the anaconda's speed can reach more than five miles per hour. Despite their terrifying appearance, these snakes are rather clumsy on land. However, they are far more agile in the water, where they can move twice as fast reaching speeds of 10 miles per hour. Remarkably, they can remain submerged underwater for up to 10 minutes at a time, hunting or lying in wait for their next meal. All this information floods your mind in a frantic rush. Is your brain trying to distract you from the horrifying situation unfolding before you? You feel the weight of the massive snake, as thick as an adult's arm, coiling around you, and the panic rises within. It certainly doesn't help that you know the reptile's exact crush force. 90 pounds per square inch. That's equivalent to the weight of an elephant sitting on your chest. The reptile has a remarkable ability to monitor its prey's heartbeat, which helps it determine when its victim has succumbed to its grasp. Usually, animals don't survive the snake's constricting embrace, but luckily for you, 
You went for a walk in the jungle dressed in a super tough protective suit, which allows you to remain intact even in such dire circumstances. The suit provides you with oxygen, significantly increasing your chances of survival in this precarious situation. Just as you start to collect your thoughts and focus on a way to escape, your train of thought is abruptly interrupted. A giant mouth closes over your head, sending your heart racing again. The snake begins moving its jaws around and over your body, attempting to maneuver you down its esophagus, the tube that connects its mouth to its stomach. Fortunately, the anaconda's fangs are designed solely for holding its prey, not for biting, and they do not contain venom. Even so, the sight in front of your eyes is nothing short of terrifying. As the massive jaws envelop you, you suddenly realize that it's a stroke of luck you're wearing your protective suit. If you weren't, you would probably drown, as anacondas produce an incredible amount of saliva. They cannot chew their food, and the process of swallowing it is much trickier for them than for many other animals. Inside the snake's mouth, several glands produce saliva to moisten the prey, making it easier to swallow. The next sensation you experience is a powerful squeezing around you. Your ribs scream in protest as the anaconda begins its first stage of swallowing. First, its muscles contract and squeeze together, forcing the food down the reptile's body. This is precisely what you're experiencing right now. After this initial stage, the anaconda moves and bends its body and spine, using its ribs to push against the prey. This pressure serves to make the food smaller and easier to digest. If you could see the entire swallowing process, it would appear as if the snake is literally crawling its body over you, compressing and moving in a rhythmic motion. You feel increasingly uncomfortable. It's too hot, and you find yourself unable to move, just a limp, lifeless object being transported. The constant bending and shifting of your body are disorienting, as the reptile works to guide you into its stomach. After what feels like an eternity, the wiggling begins to subside. It seems like you've finally made it to your destination. If you could somehow view the snake not just from the inside but also from the outside, you would notice that its stomach appears terribly swollen. Remarkably, it also has a distinct human-shaped form, possible due to the fact that the snake does not have a breastbone. The reptile's ribs are free-moving, allowing them to spread apart dramatically to accommodate their meal. Now that you're safely tucked inside the snake, you realize that the anaconda begins to move again. What's going on? The anaconda is searching for a safe place to digest you. However, the unfortunate reality is that you're not so small. Your weight in its stomach makes it hard for the snake to navigate. This poses a significant risk to the reptile. Additionally, its body is preparing to expend a great deal of energy digesting such a large meal. Like all snakes, Anacondas are cold-blooded. They need a warm environment to boost their metabolism. A cold snake can encounter significant problems with digestion. The anaconda's stomach produces powerful acids and enzymes that dissolve food, first the softest parts, and then the toughest. If you didn't have your impressive suit protecting you, it wouldn't take long for the snake to digest you completely. Remarkably, its stomach acids are so potent that they can even break down the tough skin of a caiman. Thanks to the protection of your suit, though, you could potentially spend several weeks in the snake's stomach completely unharmed. Unfortunately, that situation wouldn't resolve the problem of the absence of food. You realize that the anaconda stomach is quite literally designed to deal with large meals, and even though you might be safe for now, the reality is grim. And now, for the good news, all this scenario is completely fabricated. An anaconda wouldn't want to eat you or, at the very least, wouldn't attempt to swallow you whole. You are far too large to make a suitable meal for the reptile. If it were to gobble you up, it would remain satiated for a month or even more. That's certainly true, but at the same time, the digestion process would take too long. This extended process would render the snake slow and clumsy, jeopardizing its status as a feared predator, and it might even become prey itself. If you were careful in your movements, the snake would likely not pay much attention to you. However, if the reptile felt threatened and was trying to protect itself, well, then no one knows what might happen in that case. On the other hand, if the snake you encountered wasn't an anaconda but rather a python, those are the longest snakes in the world and can grow to more than 30 feet in. Length, there have been documented cases of pythons swallowing people. Some of these accounts remain hard to prove, 
because they occurred long before they were reported or took place in remote areas with no reliable witnesses. Nonetheless, some of these cases have been documented and confirmed by authorities. Phew, that sounds disturbing. So, please move away from that log of a snake lying in your path, slowly and carefully. It must be your lucky day. You didn't make the anaconda feel threatened, and it isn't interested in lunging at you. And that's it for today. If you satisfied your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. If you want more captivating stories and intriguing facts, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side of life.